Hey guys, what is up? Adrian Nickelodeon coming at you from Sydney, Australia. Quick video, someone asked me in the unboxing video of the Atlas 3.0 if the visors were interchangeable with their previous 2.0 model. So today we're gonna, we're gonna find out because I have no idea. The visors are different. They've said that they've reshaped and re-sculpted the visor on the 3.0 compared to the 2.0. They've made it more aerodynamic. They've taken a few things off and added a few things onto it. But I believe the shells of the Atlas 2.0 and 3.0 are pretty similar. So I'm actually pretty curious myself now to see whether the visors are interchangeable. A couple of big differences are that the 2.0 visor has this plastic cover on it over here. There were a few complaints of people saying that there was some whistling while riding with the 2.0. I didn't have any whistling issues unless I turned my head slightly to do head checks, but I can see how wind could catch on these sharp little bits here. So Rurok's answer to that, and obviously listening to their customers' feedback, was to create a visor, super streamlined, super aerodynamic, reduce the drag here at the back of the visor, and uh, obviously get rid of those plastic covers that were on here previously. So I can totally tell why guys who have the 2.0 helmet might wanna upgrade to the 3.0 visor. So today we're gonna have a quick look and see whether we can make these visors a little bit more interchangeable between the helmets. So taking the visor off is pretty easy. Turn these little bayonets half a turn, sorry, quarter of a turn. And then we can pop the visor off just like that. And we're gonna pop off the visor on the 3.0. So exactly the same quarter turn on those little bayonets. One, two, pop the visor off by pulling it straight out. So now we've got the visor for the 3.0 and we've got the 2.0 helmet here on the box. I'll just get the bayonets for the 2.0. So let's see if this uh, let's see if this thing's going to fit on. I'm doing this from the back of the helmet so it's a little bit fiddly. I'm not going to be able to do it. Let me just let me just turn this on its side. Oh no guys straight away. So the uh, it looks like the locking mechanism is different on each helmet. 2.0 visor locking mechanism 3.0 visor locking mechanism and there's a uh, there's a little cutout here where these little tabs here slot on the inside to give you those detents and i think that's actually where they put that extra extra detent in to give you a crack on the bottom of the visor for some extra airflow i'll show you that when i get this visor back on there but guys it would seem that it is not possible to use the 2.0 and 3.0 visors interchangeably between the helmets. Even though the shell of the helmets is uh, is the same, I believe it's the same, it looks the same. Spoiler on the back looks the same, vents on the top look the same. The lining on the insides of the helmet is definitely different. The 3.0 has a one-piece patented reinforced chin bar that they upgraded from the 2.0. So the front of the helmet on the 3.0 on the inside is a little bit different, but I believe they're the same from the front on the outside. Yep, looks like they're the same. And obviously the locking mechanism here on the 3.0 versus the 2.0 is a little bit different as well. So uh, yeah, that's a no from me, Bob. <laughs> Definitely not interchangeable between the versions of helmets. Look at that, so easy to get back on. Line this side up, push it on. Put the little bayonet clip back in. Quarter turn toolless. And the uh, the little crack feature that they've added on the 3.0, I'll just show you real quick. Just there, that's the demist function. So if you're riding on a hot day and you want some extra airflow through the helmet, just pop it up. First crack right there, or if the visor's starting to fog up, you can pop it up to get some extra airflow through the visor. But uh, yeah, there you go, guys. Not interchangeable between the lids. Anyway, that'll conclude this video. Don't forget, I've got a 10% discount code for all of your Rurock or Engine Hawk gear down in the description below. Hit that link and head over there if you want to cop some of this gear. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.